these little towns by the by the sea that each with its own ports they're so fun to discover it's crazy the roads here are so tiny but i love these kind of cities you know so being today my last day i didn't go far from home i just decided to come somewhere close by close i mean only an hour and a half from my house and you know just exploring around Kind of an odd location for a for boardwalk. Wonder if it's safe. I know there's some really nice buildings here but I want to shoot something different and this shore that I'm at is like rocky and because of the water splashing through time it created these rugged layers of just kind of like little peaks and whatnot and there's this pool of water that just collects and it's just from the water from the sea that just collects and it's really nice because it's gonna pick up the color of the sunset so what I'm gonna do is my composition is mostly the rocks here I'm gonna show you mostly these rocks here kind of this is where my camera's position and it's mostly these rocks here that are I got one pool I got a couple of more pools here and a little bit of the sea in the background with the sun so my horizon line really high it's mostly this foreground and stuff that I'm including I'm set up really low to make the closer part large and I'm super wide at 60 millimeter and the reason why is because I want these to look really large and I want to create depths from that angle it will create a lot of depths it would seem larger than what it actually is the area that I'm covering is really really small but it would seem larger because of you know the way my po I'm positioning the camera really low and I'm gonna shoot this at f11 and I'm pretty much gonna focus on the closest rocks because you know this is where my focus wants to go and I put a polarizer on because that will remove the glare of those pools of water and pretty much they're gonna that light from the sun that's gonna be reflected really nicely in the water hopefully you know if this should make a nice picture I know that there's a lot of nice places to shoot here but some of the locations behind me like that church there's a lot of boats laying around and it didn't make for a nice composition because there's just too much going on in front I can't get a clear shot of it you know although about the shots in the drone from that flying over that that look really nice so for this picture since being at my kind of my last picture in Lebanon I kind of want to do something with the shore and this rocky situation here it's really really nice I mean I just like how these rocks because of the constant battering of the water they just created a lot of shape I have um, this two-stop hard edge just to kind of balance out the um, the sky and the water and I have it kind of just above the rock face so it's kind of it's creeping a little bit into the edge of the rocks but that part's not really important to me I care more about the foreground being well exposed and getting that color in the sky I think I'm gonna get like a really epic sunset here for my last day can't wait for that we'll see so pro landscape tip Wearing sunglasses is kind of like putting a polarizer on. You get to see what, what the polarizer will do. 
and you just look really really cool just kidding these rock formations here they look like they're from another planet you know because they're so rugged and just you know kind of mysterious and they're not at the same level just multi-level so it's really really interesting to have that you know and I know it's a little bit different from just shooting the open landscape of you know the buildings and stuff but there's not much boats in the in the in the port so I already did a picture like that at the other town so this is a little different for today moment of truth the lights getting into that nice area where either I get an amazing color in the sky or nothing at all we'll see and here today I was able to ge get over my fear of public speaking because there's a lot of people behind me right there and around so I have no choice but to speak to the camera in public and look like a crazy person but I don't mind I'm getting photos I don't care if they don't understand we kind of keep taking pictures during this time because you don't want to miss any picture between one and the other you want to keep taking pictures just so you can get a lot of options and then you'll pick later which one works best and right now my exposure is like two seconds at f11 at ISO 50 and I'm at still as wide as I can at 60 millimeter I want to include everything I see I was kind of hoping that some of that sunset would kind of reflect back into the pools but I don't think that's happening because there's not enough clouds to kind of reflect some of the light back onto the ground at sunset but it still looks like a nice image but I was hoping for a bit more but this is what I'm getting today so no choice I'm gonna pack it up here for my last day I'm gonna go back home right now I'm probably pack my suitcase because it's a traveling day I'm traveling tomorrow back to Montreal my flight at 7 a.m. on Monday but uh, I want to thank you guys for following me around for the, uh, for the last 10 days and hope you like the videos and you know I, I wish I could do more but I have to go back back to Montreal to work back to my old routine but I'll still be making videos from for photography from over there pretty much though on the weekends you know when I can you know in the summer it should be nice because the days are long and I will be able to kind of get do more photos there all right guys peace see ya